Well, here we are on day six of the cruise. We can't believe this it's is day six, six already. already. And it's our third port of call today. We're here in beautiful Grand Turk. So yeah. we are going to go explore. We just got done having a great breakfast in the Lido. Just a quick breakfast because we wanted to eat something quick so we could get off the ship. Sure. And then have some energy to go explore. Yes, yes. Yeah, you probably saw the shots there at the beginning of the breakfast and that was good. Yeah, good. So we're going to get off the ship it's on deck three. You have to go to the midship or the front of the ship to get off at most of the ports here on the Mardi Gras. Right. So yeah, we're gonna go explore. As you walk to the end of the pier off the ship, you will notice a large gold building. You will need to walk through that building in order to enter Grand Turk. And this is the cruise center area. In this shop, there's lots of different duty-free items that you could purchase. But there's also a lot of other shops too, so you may wanna just check around before you make any purchases. As you see, there's a lot of different shops that you can check out. And there's no way you can get lost because the cruise ship is never very far out of view. There's a Ron John's shop here where you could pick up your favorite surf gear and souvenirs. And we found a great store that we really spent a lot of time looking around in. They have all kinds of different t-shirts, rum cakes, and just about anything you can think of. Hats, jewelry, kids, kids clothes. And we found something here to take home as well. Got a Christmas ornament. Where is it? You want to take it out? Is it seven dollars? Yeah, that's our souvenir. We collect Christmas ornaments, so they had a good selection of stuff in there and really reasonable. T-shirts for ten dollars or three for twenty-five.
What do you say, sweetie? This it's is recorded. great. We found some chairs for free. When you get off the boat, go to the end of the pier. Everybody, most everybody goes left because that's where Mardi Gras, um, Margaritaville. And, and the Mardi shack. Gras. Margaritaville is. Um, and then down that beach leads to Jack's shack to the left. But if you go to the right, you go through some shops, shopping village, and then there's a little astronaut display from when um, I think it was John Glenn landed here back in the 60s, I think. But anyway, beyond that is this beach, which they've just expanded and remodeled with chairs and they're free. It's so, pretty, it's a little bit of rocky on it, a little mm -hmm. bit, and then there's a little small beach down there. Yeah, they made it a, more of a sandy beach now, right to the right. Because last time we were here, it was all rocks. Mm -hmm. And now um, there's still a little bit of rocks, so, you know, water shoes are a good idea. But yeah, I know a lot of the chairs over there are pretty expen expensive. Um, so over here, they're free. Not a lot of umbrellas, though. I mean, or clamshells. I don't see any around right now. Um, but, you know, if you want to get some sun, there are a few chairs in the shade, but not very many. Uh, this is a good deal. And we're going to sit here and enjoy the ocean view, right? Mm. After relaxing for a while, we decided to go explore. So we walked down through the shops in the cruise center area again and saw where you would go if you had some kind of excursion or wanted to have a taxi ride or you can even rent golf carts and go around the island because the island's not very big. And then we found Margaritaville on the very far end of the cruise center area. So we decided to walk through there and check it out. Right in front of Margaritaville is another area with a lot of different chairs. Some of these are available for free, but they go really quick. So most of them you do have to rent, and I would advise getting there very early as soon as the ship gets into port because these chairs go the quickest on the island. We decided to go and take a little jaunt down the beach to go to a little place called Jack Shack. Jack Shack is about a 15 minute walk from Margaritaville down the beach, but it's kind of fun and worth it. One punch. One punch. Yeah. 
Yes, it was literally like this little section right here. One punch. And it had a lot of rum in it. That's good. Cheers. Well, I could see there's a lot of rum in here. <laughs> you want to go to Jack Shack. Took quite a walk down here, but they give you good drinks. What was it, $22 for yeah. two? Yeah. So it's like $11 dollars each. each. Yeah. So it'd be $11 each. It's really sandy. Yeah, it is. But the chairs are all full. Cool. Yep. I'm drying Hello. off. We we're drying off. It was raining a little bit about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, our hair got wet. Everything got wet. But now it's sunny again. Yep. It's just shade. a quick little rain shower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it didn't bother us at all. This is what do you call about? Um, paradise. It is paradise right here. Yeah. On, on uh, the waves. Oh, okay. So there's people over there, but it's probably great um, snorkeling over there. It looks like it because of so, all the rock, rocks out. A little bit. Otherwise, you have to use your uh, the swim shoes, shoes swim or shoes, water you shoes. Have to yeah. Use those over there. But it's just too really rocky. 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 Yeah. yeah.
Shame on you. Yeah. No <laughs> dinner for you. Yes, no dinner for you. Okay, here we are all dressed up for the second formal night. Mm -hmm. It's lobster night. Yep. So even though we didn't really feel like dressing up after the day at Grand, Grand Turk at the beach, yeah. we decided hmm, we could handle it to get some lobster. Yeah. <laughs> and you can dress a little more casually in the dining room, but we thought, you know, everyone else is probably going to dress up. so. We're back in black. Back no, in black. Black, 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 black. black. <laughs> um, however, when I went, went to make the reservation online in the app, it was a 120 minute wait because we didn't go right at 5.30. So we decided to go to Chebang. They're also serving the lobster there. Right. Or Lucina del Capitano can also, you can also eat it there. It's all included. But we had a long wait there the other night, so we're a little bit gun shy. So, yeah, but Chebang was quicker. Quick, 10 minute wait, so. So, yeah, we, we're on a 10 minute wait schedule. So we're gonna run up there and have some lobster. Yep. Ah, we're back from Chebang and we are full. In fact, Ron's so full that he went to go change his pants because <laughs> they were so tight. You know, by the end of the cruise, everything gets tight. It was formal night, so anyway, we're gonna change into something more casual before we go to a couple shows here, but I just wanted to comment a little bit about our food tonight. Uh, we had some great um, appetizers. I had the pot stickers again. This was the second time. This time they were a little bit better. And then um, we both had the mandarin salad with kind of wontons as a garnish, and that was really good. And then Ron had something it was like a mexican appetizer and his was called the champ champignon taco and they actually gave him three little taco shells and it had mushrooms bean and corn relish mint salsa he really liked that it was really good and actually could be probably a main course <laughs> we were surprised how big that was for an appetizer and then of course for the main course we ordered lobster we were not very impressed with the lobster. It was um, very, very small, and they had already taken the meat out and put it on top. Literally, there were probably five or six bites in the lobster, and it was kind of rubbery, so that was kind of a fail on the lobster. It was served with a mushroom risotto, which was really good, um, and a side of broccoli. We just got a couple little pieces of broccoli with that. So we were glad we ordered other sides instead as to go with it. We ordered some green beans um, from the Chebang menu and they came with garlic, lemon, and olive oil. So they were really good. We both liked that. I could have gone for more green beans. <laughs> glad I didn't though at this point. And then the other thing that we had was called Hakka noodles. And I ordered this the first time we went there a couple nights ago. It's shredded vegetables, green onion, garlic, and soy on kind of a Asian noodle. And those were really good. We both liked that. Then for dessert, we had Ron repeated his choice from the other night. And he had the chocolate sea bang, which is the textured chocolate salted fudge grenache, ginger and caramel ice cream. I tried the crema Catal Catalina. That was amazing. This is like my favorite dessert I've had so far. I like it better than the chocolate melting cake. It was um, slow cooked caramelized milk custard with a brown sugar crust. It kind of reminded me of creme brulee. It was like 
caramely, crusty, <laughs> um, crunchy on top. Oh, it's so good. And the custard was amazing. So I would definitely order that again. In fact, I'm almost tempted to go back there and get it again tomorrow, but <laughs> I don't think we will. But no, that was definitely my favorite dessert so far. I also wanted to make sure I mentioned the Chebang servers, the service in Chebang, top notch, top notch. They are constantly there checking on you. Do you need more water? What can we do? Very friendly. Um, I mean, my server actually gave us a hug when we left. So we were so impressed. Um, very, very high marks for the Chebang servers. So that was our meal tonight. Now we're going on, they're going to have a Mardi Gras parade here in a little while that we wanna take part in. I think we're gonna change out of these clothes though. We're both pretty casual people, so. <sighs> Dressing up twice in one week is <laughs> plenty for us. Mardi Gras celebration where each and every one you get to celebrate Mardi Gras with us, Mardi Gras style. Now that being said, you guys have got your little throw ceremonies here. We're gonna have some hanky, we're gonna have our second line band, and we're gonna have some of those great Mardi Gras songs. But as far as Mardi Gras goes, we cannot kick off our celebration without having a king and a queen.
We had so much fun at the 80s rock and glow party. I highly recommend you go if you're on this cruise. It's just high energy and great music, so much fun. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Thanks so much. And we do have another video coming next week of our last day on the Carnival Mardi Gras. So stay tuned. Feel the air get thinner. I'm standing in a blurry dream. No one else can see us. So let us dance this side away.